if you want to take your builds from this to this in Roblox Studio, I'm going to show you five of the easiest ways to do that. You're going to be going from probably a 2 out of 10 builder to upwards of an 8 out of 10 to even a 10 out of 10 builder just by following along this tutorial. Now the first step to becoming a better builder inside of Roblox Studio is to simply organize your workspace, alright? Nobody likes to work inside of a game, whether you're working with someone else or working by yourself, where you open up the workspace and you can't tell what any of these parts are. They are all named differently. It's just annoying, all right? Even though you have all these different models everywhere, it's cluttered, it's messy, it's just, it's just not worth it. So what you want to do is go through, name different parts of your models. Like this is the trunk of the tree, and these, for example, I'm going to name them all to leaf. Like so. Then you can pair it with the trunk and then press Ctrl G and name it a tree, for example. Then you simply anchor the part and you do the exact same over here. From there, you simply click on both of your trees now, click on group as a folder, name it to trees. You can grab your rocks as well, group as a folder, and then name these to rocks. And you can even group your house together as a model, call this house. And you grab all of your folders, group as a folder, and then you can call this your map or your build, whatever you'd like to call it. And you can grab your floor as well and throw it inside of that map folder. Now you have a very nice and organized workspace right here for you to do whatever you would wish with. And that is perfect. The next thing that I want you to do inside of your game is to simply use better colors. Right now, these colors, they're very dull. They're very plain. They're all the same thing. Just look what happens if I were to change the colors up ever so slightly. Take a look at these trees, for example. If I were to change these colors of these leaves and the colors of these leaves right here to a different shade of green. If I were to change this color of this rock and this color of this rock to a little bit darker. You can already tell the difference that that made just from changing these colors a little bit. I'll even change the color of a house to a much better color in my opinion and the color of the roof as well. So in my opinion, this improved the quality of our build by so much. And all we did was change the color of a few of our models here. Now, number three to becoming a better builder is to subscribe to the channel. Because when you subscribe to the channel, it keeps on motivating me to pump out more tutorials for you guys to watch and learn from, which thus makes you much better at being a Roblox developer. So if you haven't already, please make sure you go ahead, like, and subscribe down below. And we'll get back to the video. Tip number four is to add detail. Now I'm not talking about a door, all right? This house is doorless. Let me show you what I mean by detail, all right? So you can easily add flowers like this. Adding a few other details to the house, such as this. I even changed the color of the windows. You can see how much of a difference it makes from over here being the white and blue windows to much more of a brown and white window. So you can see just how much that changes up the build. Number five is to use textures. Let me show you before and after using textures. I personally like to use a plugin called Add Easy Textures by RoboCrafter, which will be linked down in the description below if you'd like to get it. You simply just click on the part you want to add texture to, click on Add Easy Textures, you click on all the different sides or faces that you want the texture to be on, and then you simply find the right texture for you. For me, I'm personally going to be looking for a specific grassy texture like this one. You simply click on apply and you can see the texture added to your game just like this. You can even go in and change the settings of the texture afterwards if you would like to. And just like that, you can see how much of a difference those textures made. Now from here, my last tip is just for you guys to be unique inside of your build. This could be adding any details that are specific to your type of style or build. For me, I'm personally probably going to add a few of these rocks just here in the background, sort of as, I don't know, maybe sort of like terrain, just in the background. Maybe adding another rock back here. So yeah, overall, spend some more time on your build. This is just what I was able to make with a few pretty bad parts and models that I just created in about probably 45 seconds in all honesty. I didn't really take too much time on the models. But just imagine what you can do with actually high quality assets. So ultimately it's what you do with your time and you need to understand that right off the bat you might not be as good as you want to be. And ultimately that's okay because you can use that as motivation to get to where you want to be. My other tips for you are simply just to practice, continue learning, 
and to be consistent with your own learning and eventually you'll get really good yourself. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial just as much as I did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.